Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to AM Buffalo. I'm Mercedes Wilson. And I'm Emily Lampa. And we are live just outside the Channel 7 yes. studios for AM Buffalo because we have a very good reason to be out here in the chilliest weather because we are talking about the mobile market yes. for Feed More Western New York. Our friend Kat Schick is going to join us. Come on in, Kat. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for having us oh, today. We are yeah. so grateful to be able to showcase what you do. This is one of your gems, I will say. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud to have this in Western New York because when you have food deserts, which is very common yeah. these days, it's great that you're doing this kind of work. So speak to this. What is the mobile market? Well, our farm market is an incredible program. We're able to take what we offer. We are able to purchase local grown by local farmers, fresh fruits and vegetables. We yeah. also grow some of our own product in our hydroponic container farms. Mm -hmm. And then we offer it on our farm market trucks for extremely affordable prices and we go throughout right now Erie and Niagara counties soon to be Chita um, Chautauqua yes. and Cattaraugus County selling these fresh uh, produce items in underserved communities where such fresh fruit and vegetable access are hard to come by. And these prices are amazing I must say and it's just like Feed More Western New York to to do this. Give us a little background on Feed More Western New York. Well Feed More Western New York is the premier hunger relief organization in Western New York so we're well known for our food bank distribution network where we pur purchase and distribute nutritious food to nearly 400 food pantry, soup kitchens, other hunger relief agencies throughout our Fort County service area. We have our Meals on Wheels and other prepared meal services providing neighbors with uh, who are homebound with nutritious meals as well as older adults served through community dining sites. But a lot of people may not realize we have a lot of other vital programs and services like our farm market offerings. Okay. It we got our picture back. I'm sure everybody out there was kind of wondering whether or not we had lost the shot, but we are back and you're seeing all the beautiful produce that is on this truck. And I think, Kat, what's really amazing is that people always think of food pantries as providing non-perishable food, mm -hmm. but this is a really big endeavor for you and it's growing, right? Being able to bring these trucks, which you have three of them, correct? Correct. To all of Western New York. That's the goal, correct? That is the goal is to try to get this uh, truck even more places. We know there's a lot of communities where fruits and vegetable access are hard to come by mm -hmm. and we know that oftentimes that they can be very expensive to buy as well. So to have these um, at very affordable prices, as you mentioned, and we do take SNAP and Double Up Food bucks as well on the truck so that's also an option and that's why we're trying to make sure that we're able to provide these really healthy items to our community members in need yes and thank you for that so if someone is watching right now and they're saying we could use this truck in our community what is that process like you can reach out to us at 716-822-2002 or visit our website, feedmorewny.org. We partner with a variety of different partners. So schools, community centers, senior centers, all across the board. We just want to make sure that we're getting this truck and what it's offering into the hands of those in need. And a shout out to H and Brittany. They're doing a great job up there. These are really hardworking folks. And yeah. you have such great people that you work with that make these programs count and speak to these folks as well as the volunteers. Oh, they are just amazing. I mean, I am so fortunate to work with the most amazing staff like H and Brittany and our countless other staff and volunteers. They really are the beating heart of Feed More Western New York and they make it possible for us to reach the hundreds of thousands of people who are in need of food assistance. Let's talk about where these vegetables come from because folks, check out these prices. I mean, Kat, these <laughs> are phenomenal. Like, I'm ready to go grocery shopping. Yes. Where can where do these vegetables come from? Well, we uh, work with many local farms in the community, Providence uh, Farms. We also work with Eden Valley, um, so many different farms in Erie and Niagara County. Um, and we even grow our own food as well. So we're growing food on our hydroponic container farms. Um, those are indoor farms that allow us to grow food year round, even in this harsh Buffalo winter climate. Um, and we're able to talk to the community members we serve and hear what they have to say. Recently, we heard from some community members who said, hey, we want some bok choy on the yes. farm market. And we were able to go back to our hydroponic container farms and grow that right up for them to enjoy. Um, so it's really about that partnership and the community feedback. So not only are we working with the community pro by providing them produce, but we're also working with our local farmers to be able to purchase from them. Oh my goodness. I know that keeping these programs thriving, yeah. flourishing, so that you can see more of these trucks in your local neighborhoods, it takes yeah. a lot 
a lot of support from our local community. So speak to those folks out there who might be thinking, you need more of this. Well, you know, unfortunately, food insecurity is 365 days a year. So you're absolutely right. We do need year round support and we're always looking for more volunteers. Um, so one of the ways you can get involved is by visiting us, feedmorewny.org or calling us at 716-822-2002. Another great way is by purchasing a Sweet Expectations ticket. We actually have a fundraiser tonight yep. um, at the Powerhouse from 5 to 9 p.m. And you can purchase those tickets and learn more information online as well at feedmorewny. And everyone at home is going to learn more about Sweet Expectations because when we come back, Kat and I, you're going to fill us in on all the details, right? You're absolutely right. And we do have a lot in store. Mm -hmm. So stay with us. You're watching AM Buffalo.